Hello and welcome to another Long Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our new set, Happy Easter. This is a medium sized set and it's perfect for spring and Easter projects. It's so much fun. So let's go ahead and stamp some of these images out. I absolutely love the bunnies in this set. And not only are they perfect for Easter, but they're also really great for cards all year round too. I have a lot of friends that just love bunnies, so it would be cute on birthday or thank you. I mean, you can just use these bunnies on any type of project. There's also a really cute little chick in this set. It's just adorable. I love his little wings are just flapping up. I think it's really cute. This would be a good one with a birdie told me the word bubbles coming out since he looks excited about something. <laughs> We have two Easter eggs in this set, which is great for building the scene, really fun, and, and they're almost as fun to decorate as the real thing. We have some adorable tulips. These are perfect for spring cards. I mean, I just love them on any kind of spring card. And what's fun about them is that you can create a cute little pattern with them. Just like this, you can create a whole border. I just think they're absolutely adorable. There's a jelly bean in this set, and this jelly bean is just needs to be stamped in a bunch of different colors. I think it would look so cute. Aren't they fun in all those colors? I mean, it just would be really cool for a background or even a really simple card with them just all in a row. I just love those little jelly beans. So cute. There's a little hopping trail in this set, which is so sweet, especially for the hopping bunny. So I like to kind of stamp it off the edge of the card and then keep it going just like that. It really makes it look like the bunny's been hopping a long time. And here is our adorable hopping bunny. Isn't he sweet? I just love him so much. We of course have a happy Easter sentiment in this set and I love that it's kind of a larger scale so it's it looks really awesome on projects. Just like that. And we of course have the exclamation point to go along with it. So you can add the exclamation point or not, which is really fun. And then we have a tiny little heart, which is just fun for adding around your bunnies and your chicks. So just like this. It's fun to add those hearts around. So we've got some really fun, happy spring colors here. And I wanted to show you really quickly how I color the bunny. So what I like to do is instead of coloring him completely, I take a really light gray marker or a light gray colored pencil, anything would work, and I just line the little, like the inside of the lines of his body and his ears. I follow all of the black lines, just like this. I even follow this little leg line there. And it just kind of gives him a little bit of something, not just leaving him white, which I think looks really great. I got this idea from my friend Nancy, and that's to color his little nose pink just like this, which I think looks adorable. And another little trick is to take a white gel pen and color in his little cotton tail so it appears even whiter than the white cardstock he's already on. And it also gives the tail a little bit of texture. So I'm just kind of dabbing the white gel pen in there. And you can see how cute that looks. It looks extra white, which I really love. Really, really sweet. So let's go ahead and make something with this set. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some bunnies out and then start making a really cute Easter basket. So right here, I'm working with a six by six piece of the fruit smoothie paper from Pink Lemonade. We're actually gonna make our basket with a 12 by 12 piece of paper, but I thought it was easier to see where to cut and how to create this basket with the six by six. So the six by six will make a two by two by two basket and the 12 by 12 will make a four by four by four. So with the 6x6, six six, you're going to score at 2 and at 4. If it was a 12x12, 12 12, you would score at 4 and 8. So you're going to turn that paper just one turn, and then you're going to do 2 and 4, or it would be 4 and 8 if we were doing the larger 12x12 12 12 sheet of paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold along those score lines just like that. Now it's time to create some cut lines. I'm cutting along one of those score lines right until it hits the other score line, the perpendicular score line to it. I'm gonna do it on both sides, and then I'm gonna flip my paper all the way over and do them on the other side, almost as if I would cut it all the way through, but I'm leaving that middle part open. So two little snips right there, right along those score lines that I created. And you can see the bottom of the basket start to form here, which is great. I want to punch a really cute border on all the edges of my basket. 
So I'm going to have to trim down the parts on the inside so that it doesn't cover up the scallop because the scallop has some holes. So I'm just making some marks right there for the inside pieces of the box, the parts that won't show. And the marks are going to tell me where to trim them down. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut off about three quarters of an inch. Just that way I know that my, uh, my little scallop border won't show. So I'm using my little mark there so that I know, okay, this is the part I need to cut because I've cut the wrong one before, and, uh, and just snipping off that piece. It doesn't have to be perfect because no one's going to see it. It's going to be on the inside of the box. And I'm doing it on all four sides where I made those marks, all of the inside pieces of the box, just like that, easy to do. So now you can see, when I start putting the box together, that those inside pieces are now low enough that they won't interfere with my cute little scallops. Right now I'm going to go ahead and use this Fisker's uh, little punch here to punch these cute, this cute little scallop border on all of my tall pieces. So all of the parts that are going to show, not the little inside pieces. And now I can go ahead and form my cute little basket. So we're going to move on to the 12 by 12 version now. So you can see it's just a double the size there. And I've cut some 4 inch by 1 inch strips of our Limeade paper from the Pink Lemonade collection to be the grass for my box. I'm working on it all open like this so I can do some stamping and some gluing without having the box already be in three dimensions. Those are the little bunnies that I stamped earlier. And right now I'm using a post-it note just to mask off the edge so I can stamp the cute little hopping line without getting it on the other piece of my basket. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those cute little lines. I just love them. And that way I can put a bunny on all four sides of my basket. So I continue stamping all of those hop lines on three sides of the basket. And now on the front of the basket, I'm going to stamp my Happy Easter sentiment. I'll kind of put that bunny there just so I had a good idea of where the placement should be. I love the large size. It's great for a basket like this. Now I'm putting glue on two sides of the inside pieces because they're going to fold in and glue on each other, as you can see there. So I like using liquid glue for this because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room as I push the box together. Um, that you know that glue kind of can put you can push the papers around still. And then now I'm putting glue on those outside edges and just pushing those together. And you'll see because of the glue, I'm able to kind of move the sides around, push them together, and I have a really cute basket. I'm just using some foam adhesive to adhere down all of my little bunnies and some Easter eggs that I stamped and colored and I'm putting them on all three sides. It's just looking adorable. And now I'm gonna finish decorating the very front of my card with my cute bunny and Easter eggs. Uh, it's just fun. I just use some fun pastel kind of Eastery colors and it looks really adorable. So you can see all four sides now are just so cute. No matter how you look at it, it's sweet. Now we're gonna make the handle. It's one and a quarter inch by 12 inches and I'm using some really sticky red line tape because I wanna make sure that handle holds. And I'm just going to push it on the center of the basket and then take off the little cover part for the adhesive on the other side and then line them up carefully so that the basket holds straight. And then just push that to the side of the box so that it's, you know, held up perfectly and it's not going to fall apart if someone uses it for treats or even if a little kid used it to pick up some Easter eggs. So right there, it is just looking adorable this idea of the Easter basket not only for someone hunting for eggs but also to bring treats to neighbors you could put cookies or candy or anything or to your co-workers I think it would be a cute little kind of decor slash treat basket and so that is happy Easter I just love this 4x3 set perfect for Easter and for spring because we've got tulips jelly beans are great any time of year who doesn't love jelly beans um, cute bunnies that are great on Easter cards but also on birthday or thank you or anything for anybody that loves little cute bunnies got Easter eggs a chick our tulips that come in threes here but you can kind of line them up and create a whole border of them and our great jumping line and jumping bunny and then today we made a cute little Easter basket that was really easy to do and uh, and and just really fun we used the pink lemonade papers and it's just some adorable little basket to present a gift or for maybe a little kid to collect their Easter bag or Easter eggs. So cute. And I wanted to show you one other type of card. This was using our Daphne's closet papers and some of that pink lemonade lawn trimmings. And I just think this is a really adorable card too. Um, and so there's just so many types of projects that you can create with this set. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.